Hello, hello. I have arrived. All right, so tonight would be Tales of Arise night, but I felt like playing Pokemon Snap. So that's what we're going to be doing instead. But yeah, been a little while. Unless you were here for the, you know, the Valhalla stream yesterday, in which case it's not been very long at all. But it's been a while since I've been here on my own. So yeah, I don't, I guess I didn't, I didn't check exactly how long that was now that I think about it. But uh, rest assured it was a considerable length of time. Far more than I anticipated. But yeah, there's a reason for that. There's a number of reasons for that. Yeah, not to put a too fine of a point on it, but, you know, dealing with some things, basically. <laughs> Chief among them just being, uh, just the fact that I just do not, uh, allocate enough time for myself to sleep properly, and so ended up being very, very tired for a period of some weeks. So, it is what it is. But yeah, so that is better in hand now. I'm not going to be so bold as to claim that I have solved the problem. But it's it's less of a problem now, at least. Just moving some stuff around. My setup is a little bit different now. I've been messing around with some things recently. Uh, among other things, now I can do... Let's see. Ba -ba -ba. I can do this. There we go. That's more of an interesting demonstration of this of the this technology that I that is now within the palm of my hand. I don't know that there's any particular practical use for me doing that, but I just sort of had the had the I had the feeling one day of, oh, wouldn't it be cool if I could do this? And so I put in put in some time making it happen, and now I can draw on the screen if I want to. Yeah, basically, I've just got a drawing program open. I've got a drawing program open, and I'm chroma keying and cropping out everything that isn't the canvas, and then, you know, chroma keying out the background color. So I can just do that, <laughs> as I said. But yeah, so I haven't been entirely idle. You know, I've also been thinking about sort of, you know, what I'm... I, I guess, yeah, I don't know, I don't... I don't want to say that I've been thinking about the future of the stream or anything like that, because that makes this seem, that makes this sound somewhat dire. But yeah, nothing is, nothing is going to change immediately. Nothing is going to change for a little while, probably. More so, I guess you could say I was, I have reaffirmed my commitment to streaming. I think that's a better way to put it. Examine sort of why I do this, why I want to continue this with whether or not I want to continue this, I decided that the answer is yes. At least to that latter question. The answer to why I do this is not yes. But yes. Ba -ba -ba. Real quick, also. Physicist, thank you for the follow. But yes. Let's see. So yeah, like I was saying, tonight ordinarily would have been Tales of Arise night, but I felt like doing Pokemon Snap. So instead, tonight is Pokemon Snap Night. So, I guess I was going to say that we're going to be playing Pokemon Snap, but I guess that's implied by the fact that it's Pokemon Snap Night, huh? Sit. <coughs> Sit. But yes. So, next week we should be back to something resembling a, a regular schedule. I might... I don't know. I might sort of ease myself into this and not stream exactly every day that I would normally stream. Might take one or two days off, depending on circumstances. Yeah, I'm also thinking a little bit about potentially... Um, currently, currently, all of my streams are scheduled for 7.30 p.m. Central Time, except for the Thursday stream, the Valhalla collab stream with Sheppy Sheps. Check out Sheppy Sheps, by the way. <laughs> yes. Uh, other than that stream, every stream uh, begins at 7.30 p.m. That one begins at 8.30 p.m. due to uh, a difference in my work schedule on that particular day. I'm thinking I might push back all of my streams till 8.30 uh, going forward for the foreseeable future so that I can have a little bit more time in the evenings to get ready and also potentially some time to work on, work on stuff uh, 
at work on stream related stuff at a time when I'm going to be thinking about the stream. <laughs> because on the days when I don't stream, I don't think about the stream all that much, I'm going to be honest. Which is perhaps not ideal, and perhaps something that I ought to fix. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm still thinking about that. It may not go through, because, you know, time after the stream, time before the stream are not really all that different. But, I don't know. It is. The thing about it is that, you know, when I am, when I stream, I'm streaming basically as close to, as, as early as I possibly can. Like, I, I was still, like, eating dinner. I still had my dinner plate in front of me. I had just finished dinner. Yeah. I still had my dinner plate in front of me when I sent out the tweet that I was going to be starting the stream. So, that should give you an idea of about how, yeah, how tight my schedule is. So, even if I don't use that time, the extra hour or so that I'd be pushing the stream back for stream-related work, it would still be a lot... It'd be a lot easier and more comfortable for me to work around. I wouldn't have to quite rush through things as much. So, again, that's something I'm considering. I haven't committed to it yet. And, you know, even if I, if I happen to find myself with some extra time on a given day, I can always start early. Yeah. I guess, yeah, I think it's probably better to start early than to start late. So... Perhaps I should, yeah, overestimate how long it takes for me to do any such thing. But yeah, anyway, this is a whole lot of talking about things that aren't the stream right now. <laughs> the stream that we're going to do. Yeah, I guess one more thing before we go. We do need to talk about the schedule. So again, I may take one or more days off the schedule next week, depending on circumstances. But in general, you know, I was about to give the usual times, but I'm going to, I'm going to say, yeah, we're going to start with 8.30, and then if I don't feel like it's benefiting me, if I don't feel like it really contributes anything, then I'll probably just move things back, because, you know, not every commitment needs to be a long-term thing, but if, yeah, 8.30 p.m. Central Time across the board, <laughs> starting next week, Tuesday through Friday, as per usual. Yeah, so Tuesday will be, should be more Pokemon Snap. Wednesday and Friday should be more Tales of Arise. And then Thursday will be more VA11 Hall A, Cyberpunk Bartender Action with Sheppy Sheps. So yeah, I think that's all of the business that needs to be gone through today. But yeah, I might, I might, uh, this stream might end up being a little bit shorter than usual because I'm, my throat's a little bit sore today. Throat's a little bit sore today because uh, <laughs> I have a bad habit of eating, eating my food too quickly and burning myself as a result. <laughs> particularly, yeah, particularly with certain, certain foods. But, uh, but yeah, so the inside of my mouth is a little bit burned and uncomfortable right now. So I may be taking some more sips than usual. Speaking of which, Sip. Yeah, sipping a little bit more than usual. Maybe talking a little bit less than usual. Perhaps a little bit softer than usual. But I feel like I'm in reasonable condition to continue, so we're going to continue. It is Pokemon Snap time, so let's play some Pokemon Snap. Oh, okay, yes. We do have game audio. I thought for I thought for a second there that we didn't, but we're good. All right. You will need the classic controller. Let's see. There we go. All right. So, video games. Yeah, I was about to talk about Pokemon Snap as though we hadn't played it yet, but we we did play it. <laughs> we played it, played it. I was going to say last week, not last week. It's been a while. It's been some time. I don't remember how long. Again. I've been waiting for you, Tybiro. I expect you to take good pictures. Yes, okay, so we did, we made it as far as the river last time. Did we? Yeah, we did. We went through the, the river once, actually. Yeah, so we went through, well, yes, of course we went through all of the 
forces because you unlock them in a linear order. Anyway, so, speaking of going through the courses in a linear order, yes. we should... Now that I think about it, I don't know for sure that we did, but I'm pretty sure we got Fester Balls last time. Let's get some slightly better Pidgey shots, maybe. Mm. Professor Oak won't like it if I photograph them from behind. But yes, we do in fact have Pester Balls. And yes, now that we have Apples, actually, we can also get a special pose out of this here Pikachu. Or I guess, no. We established these are not apples. These are apple-shaped Pokemon food. I was a little bit slow on the draw here, unfortunately. So we're not going to get as good of a shot as we could have. Yeah, that's a pretty bad shot, actually. <laughs> Maybe Professor Oak doesn't need to see that one. Let's see, there should be... There we go. Yeah, I don't believe... There we go. Whoops. I don't believe there's anything you can do to interact with those Lapras beyond taking pictures of them. You can't hit them with uh, pester balls. You can't hit them with apple-shaped Pokemon food. Very good. And another thing we can do, I maybe should have done this when we were a little bit closer too, but we can convince Scyther to come forth. Let's see. Oh, oh! I don't remember there being a Lapras this close this early into the into the stage. Yes, as I recall, these two Pikachu are. Yeah, you can activate them specifically by bringing the Scyther Scyther out. I think. But yeah. So once again, you know, going through stages again is a great opportunity to get more points. Great opportunity to get more points, basically. It occurs to me, Scyther, Scyther does have wings. Scyther does have wings, but it does, sure doesn't fly very often, does it? Ah. Alright, well. I missed a pretty good Lapras shot, but we've gotten some pretty good Lapras shots in the past, so I'm really not that bothered by it. And finally, we'll get our Kangaskhan shot. Or we'll get a decent Kangaskhan shot as well. And we're also going to save our, our good friend Meowth here. To make up for the Meowth that we pestered earlier. Eh, that wasn't a very good photo, but it will count as a photo. Or it should, anyway. I keep wanting to say that there are also Goldeen in these waters, but I guess I don't know that for certain. It feels like there should be, but I might just be thinking of how you can get Goldeen out of Pokeballs in Super Smash Brothers. But yeah, I think all of these should be more or less identical to the Pidgey photos you were required to take the tutorial. This is not going to be worth very many points. This could be... The one with the two Pikachus is probably is probably going to be much better. The Pikachu is smaller, but there's two of them. Yes, that Snorlax is pretty centered. That one is not very centered at all. Yeah, that should be our best by a pretty wide margin. Yeah, our previous Meowth photo is pretty bad. Yeah, I don't... I feel like... I feel like Professor Oak's probably going to be more pleased with the... Meowth that is more pleased than the one that has been pestered. That one... Honestly, I'm just going to choose this one because I like the... I like the little Lapras sticking their head out from the side there. Magikarp is... that's almost certainly a worse photo. That's almost certainly a worse photo too. Yeah, I probably could have gotten a pretty decent one. Oh, is that? Oh, no, I, I was going to say, I knew I took more than just two photos of Scyther, and indeed I did. That one's a little bit bigger, but I feel like 
It's definitely towards the end of its animation, so that might not count as a special pose. Whereas this one probably would. So yeah, that should be everything. Yeah, we've got Lapras photos, but nothing notable. We've got Butterfree, but I don't think that's going to be... If it is at all better, I don't think it's going to be enough better to warrant showing to Professor Oak. And yeah, that Magikarp photo is almost certainly worse. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to do another run here of the beach course. I'm going to do another run of the beach course so I can get one more photo. Eh, it could be better, I suppose, yeah. Sit. Crouching its tummy, indeed. 1,000 points. Pokemon is right in the middle of the frame. Double Wonderful. score. Very good. Wow. Pikachu on a stump. These descriptions are very, very straightforward. Very straightforward. Okay, yeah, that is a good, good score. Good score. Better than on a ball. By a not insignificant margin. Slightly larger, which I'm not, I wasn't expecting. I guess more of the photo is taken up by Pikachu. The Pikachu is a little bit further away, but it's, you know, it's standing up as opposed to being, yeah, more of the photo is taken up by Pikachu. Oh. Yes, very lively. Technique, double, of course. And there's an extra Pikachu as well. Well done. But yeah, there was also, I remember we, I went for a pretty, another special Pikachu shot on the river course, but I wasn't able to get that. See if I can get that once I run through the river again. But yes, Scyther, not great. Pose could be better. Not a special, not a special pose, unfortunately. I guess maybe I needed to get it a little bit sooner. Yes, right in the middle of the frame. Wonderful. Not great, not terrible. Angus gone. This would be much better just, just on, on the fact that it's turned around, basically. Yes, how's the technique? Right in the middle of the frame. Well done. Excellent, excellent. Well done, and much better. And this Meowth should also be much, much better. Yeah, size is only a little bit more so. Dancing Meowth, very good. Right in the middle of the frame, well done. double the score, very good. There are Pokemon hiding by the river. Find them with a Pesta Ball. Welcome back. I certainly will find them with a Pesta Ball, but first we're going yes. back to the beach because there's another Pokemon that I need to find with a Pesta Ball. Yeah, I forgot. Well, I don't know. I hesitate to mention it just because of, yeah, because it's, in my mind, it's a spoiler. But I guess there's probably not a whole lot of people around here who are, oh, I don't think I've seen that interaction before. But anyway, I was going to say, I don't know how many people here are terribly concerned about Pokemon Snap spoilers. So I was just going to say that there's a an upgrade that you get later in the game. An upgrade that you get later in the game that allows you to... Yeah, allows you to move faster. You can hold down a button and you'll your cart will drive faster. Oh, okay. Lapras. You can probably get a better Snorlax now. Very good. But yes. I don't particularly want to bother that Meowth. I'll give him some apple-shaped Pokemon food. It's almost like we're getting some slowdown here. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I want to get... I want to get good Lapras photos. Because, yeah, I didn't... I didn't know that that one spawned this close this early. Surely I must have seen that before. Because I know that I've... I'm pretty sure if you miss any Lapras photo opportunity, you miss all of the subsequent ones. I was pretty sure that that was the case. Oh. Well, I say that, and then I almost miss one. And I'm 100% sure that I haven't taken that photo before. 
Yeah, I guess it's probably not not as strict as I as I thought it was. Yeah, there's an, another Lapras over there that we missed. We've also not gotten like a good Doduo photo ever. But that isn't my aim right now, anyway. All right, so that should close, but no cigar, unfortunately. There we go. Acceptable Chansey photo. Pretty good Lapras photo. Unfortunately, my timing was thrown off because I got a little bit distracted by the Chansey. We'll save me out again. And I'll see about fishing up a gold bean. I'm still... I don't know. I might be thinking of something else. Because, yeah. The more I think about it, the less... The less I can even... Yeah, the less I can imagine in any capacity a Goldine coming out of these waters. So I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure that I... The, the very idea it was something was simply invented. This is a du do duo from behind, but it is facing with one of its faces, the camera. So that might count for something. Yes, whoops. These butterfree, none of them are really facing the camera. That one could be a little bit better. This is a pretty bad chancy photo. But I think we'll live with it. Let's see. I thought, yes. So we've got one. We've got one with three Lapras. So that could be something. I don't... I think it's kind of worse than our other Lapras photo. But I think the game will give us more points for it. That should be a significantly better Snorlax. And that should be the beach Cleared out for now. Sit. Hmm? What's new this time? Let me see. This is Doduo. Pokemon report. Size worse. Pose? Mm, bad. Yeah. Unfortunate. We will keep the last shot. I knew. I was pretty confident that that would be better. But, alas. Surfing Pikachu. Surfing Pikachu is worth less than Pikachu on a stump. Yeah, which is about what I expected. Size, roughly the same. Pose, very lively. Technique, times two. Last photo is better. I'll live with that. Yes, Snorlax. Just a mild improvement. Yeah, but a mild improvement is still an improvement. Well done. Very good. So yeah, I think this is a little bit up in the air. Oh, size is much better. I guess because, yeah. Because, yeah, the game says size, but I think probably rather than size, which I am interpreting as just, you know, the actual size of the creature relative to the relative to the image. I assume what the game means when it asks for size is it's asking for it's asking for what's the word I'm looking for? Like how much of the how much of the frame is filled up with the Pokemon. So, you know, if two Pokemon are the same size, the same distance from you, but one of them is half covered up and the other one is not, probably the one that is completely uncovered counts more for size points. I think that's sort of the math behind it, basically. That's it. Yeah, Pose is much worse. <laughs> Much, much worse. I think probably because I was, uh, the Scyther is not quite facing away, but it's also definitely not facing towards us. Yeah, size is slightly better. Pose is eh, a pretty fair amount better. Yes, extra Butterfree, extra points. Well done. Very good. A mild improvement, but an improvement nonetheless. Chansey is our first Chansey. You are close. Bad size. Yeah, that's about what I was expecting. Lapras. Size is worse. Pose is relaxed. Technique is in the middle. Wow. Extra Lapras, but I think... Eh, no, yeah, that wasn't going to give... Yeah, okay. 
There's definitely two Lapras in the second photo, but we didn't get extra points for that. So maybe, yeah, it might just be a matter of whether or not, whether or not there are extra Pokemon in the, in the picture rather than how many extra Pokemon are in the picture. Let's see, is there anything else I can do in the power plant? Or sorry, in the tunnel, rather. The tunnel that used to be a power plant. Because yeah, I don't think there's any other Pokemon that we can get a picture of here that we haven't already. I believe there's one in the volcano. Let's see, actually. Hold on, what, what Pokemon have we gotten pictures of? Let's see, we've got Magikarp, we got Pikachu, we got Egg. No, wait, this is the album. This is what I'm looking for. Right, right, right. Yes, Pokemon Report. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so Bulbasaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Metapod. We've got our... We've got a really bad Metapod photo, apparently. Yeah, the Bulbasaur photo is pretty bad also. You know what, actually, <laughs> since I made a big fuss about my ability to draw on the screen now, let's draw on the screen now. Let's see, Metapod. Hmm. Unfortunately now, oh, unfortunately now it's not visible. Oh, I forgot to put it on this screen, oh well. You know what? We're not going to worry about that. I can I can take note on my own on my own. I guess you don't necessarily need to see my notes. Metapod, Bulbasaur. Yes, Metapod, Bulbasaur. Most of the rest of these are pretty good. It looks like we don't have a good Poliwag. Poliwag. Um, Shelter. Really, most of the most of the new river Pokemon are pretty bad. Yeah, Shelter. You can also go back for a better Doduo and Chansey, but I'm not going to worry about those immediately. Okay, that should be us squared away then. It is time to solve the secret of the switch. Whoops. Let's not do that. There we go. Go to course, and yeah, I'm pretty confident there's nothing else to be done in the volcano. Actually, hold on, did I? I guess I got distracted. I was looking, I was going, I meant to look for what Pokemon I had and hadn't found in a given location. Try to cross reference that with my memories. But yeah, I was thinking that maybe we didn't get a Rapidash or something. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that I should have gotten a Rapidash. It's pretty easy to get a picture of a Rapidash. So it'd be a little bit weird if I didn't. Yes. So, river time. Yes. Let's see. I think, I don't know that I can, I can probably hit them with apple-shaped Pokemon food also. But that might not get me the results I desire. Because yeah, this is what I want to do. You can sort of chase them into the water. And just like you can chase the Poliwag into the water, you can chase, well, I was gonna say chase the Bulbasaur out of the water, but it's not in the water. Or at least you can in theory, if you have acceptable aim. Which I apparently do not. <laughs> Bulbasaur? Please? No? Hmm. Well, we've missed our opportunity. Let's see. We can definitely get a better slow bro. That wasn't one that I noted as one that was particularly... Bad. But we could still get a better slow bro. Actually, did we get a slow bro at all? I feel like, I know that we saw a slow bro. For whatever reason, I was thinking that we didn't get an actual photo of it. But no, I'm sure that we did. Hmm. Well, 
Unfortunately, I was a little bit too late there to get anything out of that. But yes. The aiming on this is a little bit, a little bit harder than I remember it being. There we go. Much better. If you'd be so kind as to depart, friend. There we go. <laughs> I forgot what I had to do there to make him go away. Yes, I think. There we go. If we bother the Psyduck, I think... Let's see. Oops. We're going to miss our opportunity to do something special here to solve the mystery of the switch, but... I have a vague recollection of... Hmm. I have a vague recollection of missing my targets, apparently. Well... I guess we might just solve the mystery of the switch while we're here. Switch mystery solved. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Beyond just gaining the ability to draw on my screen, which I can't demonstrate now because I forgot to set it up properly on this on this scene. Yeah, I've also been messing around with uh also been messing around with my encoding settings. I talked about that on the last stream. But yeah, we still haven't figured out still haven't figured it out properly. I'm still getting some encoding errors. You know, I know why they're happening at this point. I'm pretty confident I know. Yeah. But yeah, I don't I guess I don't know what the actual video quality of the stream is like right now, given that I'm not watching it. But, uh, I don't know, I'm always reluctant to turn down the bitrate or anything any more than... Yeah, I'm always reluctant to turn it down because I don't want the performance of the stream itself to be any worse. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well on just general PC resource usage. And I don't, I'm not using too much encoding, it seems like. So I don't think I'm going to be experiencing any real issues. I definitely saw at least one prompt saying that, you know, I was having some encoding, encoding issues. But I don't think, well, for one thing, I probably shouldn't, I probably shouldn't mess with the encoding issues midstream. That will probably be an issue. Yeah, we didn't get... Hold on. Wait, what is... Didn't I... Did I not show a pick a shell there? I guess I didn't. What did I get? Huh. Is I... Hmm. Well, anyway. <laughs> what is... Oh, that's a... Oh, that's a picture of Slowpoke, apparently. That's a pretty bad photo of Slowpoke. So we're not going to worry about that. Yeah, I thought I thought this was a shelter photo, and I went between that, that, and that. And I, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why the game decides to focus on the slowpoke, very faint, faint in the background, instead of the shelter that are relatively close to the center of the frame. An odd little bit of priority. Yes. Yeah. So I guess also on the topic of resolving technical issues. I've imp I believe that my face tracking is a little bit improved now because I, I decided to to move my desk lamp or my, you know, I guess it, I guess it is a desk lamp regardless of what surface I put it on. Yes, my, my lamp, my lamp from off of my bedside table and onto my desk. More specifically, it is currently on top of my, my computer, my computer tower. Yeah, so I have that, I've moved that, and it's now facing me, like facing my face directly. So the tracking should be a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit bothersome, which is why I wasn't doing it before. So I might, it is, yeah, I don't know. I might angle it a little bit further away from me. I'm not going to mess with it now, but 
in the future. Yeah, size is much better. Pose is acceptable. Technique is good. Polywag are polywag. Extra points. Successful shot. Oh, yes. Acceptable shelter photo. Slightly larger. Hmm? You were close. Pardon? I guess. I guess well it must done. be. Huh. It must have cued queued into the slow the shelter on the bottom left corner, I guess. And decided that that was the subject of the photo. Interesting. Sit. I guess it might not be looking for... Unless you get it, like, straight dead on. It might not be looking for the Pokemon that's closest to the center of the frame. In so much as it's looking for the largest Pokemon. Because, yeah, the, the shelter that was facing away from us was definitely the shelter that was was definitely the shelter that was largest, that was closest to the frame. So, I'm guessing that must be what happened there, because that was, that should not have been, <laughs> that should not have been what it was, I don't think. Yes, size, not much better, fishing, technique, well done. an improvement. Slow bro, slow bro, the uh, it's about the same size. I thought it would be a little bit slow, a little bit lower, to be honest. Pose is much better because it's eating, as opposed to staring off into the middle distance. Technique is better. Well done. Is the same. It's good. Technique's a very binary thing in here. You're either you've either got good technique or you've got bad technique. The yeah, size is much better. Pose is acceptable. Technique is good. Other Metapod, extra well points. That's a very big, big improvement. So we can cross that off the list. I don't know how hard I'm going to focus on getting better photos necessarily today, Wait. but yeah, I think probably Welcome we'll focus back. a little bit more on progress. Focus a little bit more on progress. Taiba, you found a split in the path. According to my, my research, that split should link to a new course. I've also made a link from my lab. You should go right away. Well, you know what? We might just do that. Why not? Why not? Why not hasn't been introduced yet. <laughs> I cracked myself up. This is a scary looking cave. I bet if I listen closely, I'll hear all sorts of strange noises. Yes. Yeah. The throat is definitely bothering me a little bit tonight. As I as I suspected, basically. Oh yeah, I forgot about the music here. The music here is pretty good. My ability to capture photos of those uh, Zubat is not so good. But the music here is good. And there we go. You can recognize. There we go. You can recognize a ditto from the face. True to the anime, a Pokemon that uh, is a ditto in disguise will have a ditto's face still. Yes, the Bulbasaur that are actually ditto do still count as uh, Bulbasaur, in case you're wondering. So honestly, I probably should have left them as Bulbasaur so that I could keep the, keep a good, uh, yeah, get a better, just general, better Bulbasaur results than I had. I did already get a good Bulbasaur, or at least an okay Bulbasaur. Oops, sorry Jigglypuff, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that either. Yep. You are good to go. Let's see. I think... You may notice that this setup is pretty similar to the one we had with uh, Charmeleon earlier. Mm -hmm. Victory Bell. Alright, there we go. 
Let's bother Victory Bell a little bit. Oh dear, that Jigglypuff is also in need of help. I think... Hmm. I must have missed my opportunity there. Or something. Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye out for that... That Jigglypuff. That Jigglypuff and that coughing. Yeah, not a great photo. Yeah, I guess I've still got some opportunities, but I'm... Sort of at the limit. Hmm. Well, that should be fine. That should be fine. And if you listen closely, you'll hear all sorts of noises. But yeah, so if you save all three of the Jigglypuff, they'll be here. I guess, you know, any any Jigglypuff that you save will be here. But, you know, if you save more of them, more of them will be there. Sit. Yeah, as I was saying, Roach definitely bothering me a little bit. So we're probably not going to go for too, too much longer. I think we'll give it another run through the river and the cave, and then we will call it. So that doesn't count as anything. That doesn't count as anything. There's a number of Zubat photos, but none of them are great. I think probably I'm going to get the best results out of the ones where Zubat is carrying Pikachu. A lot of these feel a lot more like Pikachu photos than they do Zubat photos, but I'll take what I can get. Bulbasaur. I mean, that's not much of anything, but it's better than what we had. Yeah, I think the one with the glow should count as a special pose as he's reversing his transformation. But yeah, that... I feel like that's not going to count very well for size, but it should count better than the other one. Yeah, the Jigglypuff in concert should be much better in terms of score than the other one. The Jinx from the side is going to be better than the Jinx from behind. We Okay, yeah, we already got a Zubat. That one's closer to the center. So that should be okay. I don't think either of these Pikachu photos are going to be particularly good, but that should be everything we need. Alright, Bulbasaur. Not that much better, but it's definitely going to be good enough. Oh, it wasn't actually. It wasn't good enough to get further along. It was much better, though. It was like almost five times better. Yeah, so that is Ditto, 400 points, 1,000 points for the pose, right in the middle of the frame. I guess that does count as a... Hmm, it's not real. I thought I saw another encoding error come up, but I don't see the message, so I think maybe I was just mistaken. Yes, yeah, Ditto, coughing. I haven't taken a coughing photo yet. Oh, that is a pretty good size. Pose, acceptable. Technique. Right in the middle of the frame. Wonderful. Yes, Weeping Bell. Yeah, I was going to say that coughing, it does, with the way it's posed, it does look a little bit like it's bumped into the frame of the photo and is recoiling from that. Size is not spectacular. Pose is pretty alright. Technique is pretty good. Wonderful. Not an amazing shot, but I do, I do appreciate it. Pikachu. Our previous Pikachu is going to be much better. Close. Much better in general. Yeah. Yeah, the size is really what killed us there. This is also going to be a pretty small Zubat, but it should be big enough to... Huh? Hmm. Wait. Huh. I was sure that the Zubat carrying Pikachu was considered a special pose, but I'm pretty sure it's probably, if not that, I know that Pikachu being carried by Zubat is a special pose. So I guess it's not a reciprocal relationship. 
for us. Okay, Jake's photo. Slightly better than our victory bell, I think. Or weeping bell. Wait, hold on. Do we? Do we get a victory bell? Yes, Jigglypuff on stage. 500 points just for that. Size is unspectacular. Pose is singing cheerfully. Yes, technique. Right in the middle of the frame. Double the score. Extra Jigglypuff. 290 points. I must have missed Victory Welcome Bell, because I'm like, I'm certain, I'm certain, I'm certain we should have Victory Bell. Hold on. Yeah, Victory Bell. Unfortunately, I'm not super familiar with the... <laughs> yes, we do have, we do have Rap Dash. We don't have Victory Bell, so I forgot to send a, a Victory Bell photo. We're not going to go to the valley just yet. Yes. Like I said, we're going to do one more run of the river and then probably one more run of the, or sorry, one more run of the cave and then more, one more run of the river. Pardon. Acceptable. Not exceptional, but acceptable. This time we'll just admire the Slightly silly looking Bulbasaur. Yeah, I was gonna say this seems like an odd an odd place for Bulbasaur's habitat to be. And that that was a perhaps another clue that you could use to discern that these aren't in fact Bulbasaur. But I suppose they are, you know, in an area that supports the growth of plant life, as evidenced by the plant life. And also the, you know, the sunlight and all that. They also make a slightly weird noise, which is not uh, not something I remember from the anime. I remember the anime di uh, ditto making, you know, the sounds of the creature that they imitated. Hmm. Can oh, very nice. Yes. So. Bell. There we go. The coughing should be coming up here. There we go. And... Let's see. Well, I can't forget Victory Bell. I can't forget Victory Bell. I can't forget Victory Bell like, you know, how I did the last time. Can... I guess it's not impossible for me to throw it that far. I know I've done it before. Or I must have done it before. Considering the fact that I have gotten all three Jigglypuff on stage before. So I guess I just need to improve my aim a little bit there. Hmm. Because yeah, I don't... I don't think there's anything I could have done to react to that faster or better, unless I'm just misunderstanding. Alright, cannot interact with the Jinx in any way. That could be a little bit of a better photo. So yes, back with the Jigglypuff. I don't... No, well, I could get a better... I could get a better shot. I don't... I don't think I'll bother, though. I won't worry about it, because I want to save that for when I get all three Jigglypuff. Which I will take as much time to do as I need, incidentally. Yeah, so another issue that I was experiencing back last time I played this game that I'm no longer experiencing is I was having some, some weird, uh... The game looked pretty weird on my monitor. It doesn't... It still looks a little bit off from what I remember, which I can probably chalk up to just the fact that it's being played on a monitor rather than on a television. I think, yeah, that should be better. The other ones would give me more Ditto or more Bulbasaur, but that one will give me a much bigger Bulbasaur 
and yeah, everything, the extra Pokemon give you more points, but everything before that, you know, is what gets doubled, gets doubled, and thus is probably better. You should focus on other things more before you focus specifically on multiple Pokemon. Yes. A good photo can be enhanced by having multiple Pokemon, but a bad photo won't be terribly improved by having multiple Pokemon. Sit. Yeah, size is enough to pass. Pose is acceptable. Technique is right in the middle of the frame. Double the score. There are other Bulbasaur in the photo. I guess there's the faint impression of one, yes. There's the faint impression of one. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so this is going to be a worse Jigglypuff photo in general, but I felt like submitting it anyway. Yeah, so that does count as a good pose. I don't know, I guess I always assumed that in order to get a thousand or more points, it needed to be something of a special pose, but I guess maybe if the Pokemon's just looking directly at you, that counts as a, as a good pose. And it's just the ones that give you over a thousand points. That are the special poses. Yes, right in the middle of the Wonderful. frame. Double the score. Wonderful. And this should be a much better Jinx. The size should be better. The pose is definitely going to be better. Not amazingly better, but it's definitely better. Well done. Much better. Pokemon seem to be bowling in the valley. Sure looks difficult. Welcome back. Welcome indeed. You know, I've never put off visiting a new location before. I didn't know that he had dialogue yes. for it. You learn something new every day. I don't, I don't know how much I want to get more Poliwag, but I suppose I'll go for it. Cause yeah, Poliwag, um, we got a good Bulbasaur, so I can cross that off the list. I really want to get a like an acceptable shelter. <laughs> I don't even particularly care for a, a good shelter. I just like one that I don't feel bad about submitting. Speaking of which, we should be seeing some more shelter here very soon. Of course, we do also have that creature over yonder. We also don't seem to be having shelter here. Maybe the polywag scared them off. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I cannot get you yet. Alright, I hope one of these days we get a shelter photo that's, like, good. As funny as it kind of is to just have a litany of pretty terrible shelter photos, I would like to get a good one. So I definitely have an interest. I have an interest in hitting these Psyducks with some more projectiles. Because I'm pretty confident that that is... That'll get us something special. Yeah. It's, the problem is it's tricky. They're slippery little fellas on account of being in the water all the time, I suppose. We might be out of luck again, or we might not be. We got one to spawn about here earlier, so it might just be a waiting game now. Hmm. All right. I'm not going to solve the mystery of the switch again. Actually, that would probably end the level faster. So let's solve the mystery of the switch yet again. Again and again and again. Not much of a mystery anymore. Hmm. I guess with the cutscene, it might not actually be that much faster, if at all. So that was not great. Is that? That's not a Pokemon, huh? Interesting. Hmm. None of these are very good, to be honest. So well, that's probably going to be the best. Shelter. 
I... I'm, I'm just gonna hope, really. Alright, that should be everything. Yes. This was a bad river run. I'm gonna do the river again, actually. Oh, yes. Size is worse. Uh... Tragedy. Hollywag. Size is gonna be better. Pose, I think, should be pretty good. There we go. Great. Hmm. Well done. It's an improvement. It is an improvement. We got a bad, uh... Yeah, we got a bad result overall. Welcome back. But it was an improvement. Yes. So, let's see. I don't... I don't know. I'm not going to bother with the polywags. Because, yeah, I could get a better one, but... Nah. <laughs> to be honest. But yes, we should be able to get... There we go. Some genuine Bulbasaur photos. Let's see. Actually, we can probably get all three of them to congregate, can't we? The other one doesn't seem to quite have the pathfinding necessary to find a path. So we'll just leave him with some, some snacks. I wonder if Slowpoke reacts to being pestered. No. Neither pester balls nor apples, nor apple-shaped Pokemon food, interest this stoic creature in any capacity. That was probably my best shelter, but I'm... Professor Oak's not going to like how not centered it is, I don't think. I don't... I don't think aiming for Psyduck is going to get me anything. Or, sorry, Magikarp is going to get me anything. Aiming for the water in general. I could definitely get something by aiming for Psyduck, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident I, re I recall something important. I don't want to miss the uh, my other opportunity, though. So yes, that's a Psyduck. And I need to hit it again, I do believe. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. I might not be able to hit it, hit it again. Or I might have just, uh, missed. Alright, that shot definitely went through it. So, I guess there's not a, not much to be done here. Hmm. And we will just enjoy the rest of our, our little cruise here. Maybe we'll take a, a Pikachu photo. If we can activate this Pikachu. Hmm, no. I was gonna go for that shelter, but I don't think I don't think I was gonna make it, to be honest. Didn't do so well on that Pikachu either. Unfortunate. But at least we're gonna have a good bulbasaur. We're gonna We've got an okay polywag already. And that, yeah, we didn't take any new polywag photos, so the situation is not going to change. But yes. So, we can definitely get a pretty good Bulbasaur, I think. A pretty good and, in fact, a genuine Bulbasaur. I'm not confident in any of these shelter photos, to be honest, but I think that's probably going to be the best one. Slowpoke. Once again, I don't know why the game considers that to be a Slowpoke photo, but I will allow it. I suppose there's not much to be done. All right, so Bulbasaur, that's going to be better size, I think, going to be a much better pose, I'm sure. The yes, technique is the same, but we're going to have more Bulbasaur, we're going to have more of more Bulbasaur even. So much improved, much improved. Kelder is going to be about the same size, I think, it's going to be better, er, nope. You are close. Wow. <laughs> Porygon? 
not great size, but pose is all right. The technique is good. Wonderful. Double the score. And we're going to hear about bowling some more, I think. Welcome back. So yeah, I think we're going to wrap things up there. Yeah, apologies for the short ship or the yeah short showing on my first day back on my own, but uh, whoop, there we go. <laughs> so you can see the notes I've been taking. Anyway, but yeah, definitely could have done a little bit better with the stream itself, but yeah, I need to be more mindful of such things, taking care of myself, making sure I don't uh, burn myself on my dinner. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna leave it here. But yeah, so let's see business once again. So yeah, next week I'm going to attempt to I'm going to try the change in schedule that I had discussed. The going and or the starting at 8:30 p.m. Central Time, going to 10 probably. Definitely don't want to go to 11, but 10:30 uh, Central Time. <coughs> yeah. To be clear, yeah, 8.30 to 10.30 p.m. Central Time for all of the streams rather than just the, just the collab streams. Just to give myself a little bit, pardon, a little bit more time to get everything, you know, situated. But yes, so, once again, we may see one or more streams drop from the schedule next week as I sort of adapt to streaming again after really it must have been it's at least at least two weeks but probably three roughly but yes so let's see oh right games so i'm once again one or more days may drop from the schedule but as of right now we're currently expecting a tuesday yeah tuesday to be pokemon snap once again Wednesday to be Tales of Arise, Thursday to be Valhalla with Chevy Sheps, and then Friday to be once again Pokemon Snap. Or no, Tales of Arise. There we go. <laughs> yes. So yeah, I also need to keep an eye out. Yeah, once again, I'm going to try and adjust, continue to adjust my my rendering settings so that I can finally dispose of the encoder errors. But yeah, I think that's everything that needs to be said. So, it is time for the customary raid. So if anyone has any suggestions, as always, I would be glad to hear them. If not, I can find a target on my own, as per usual. <coughs> hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Take a sip real quick. But yeah, looks like no suggestions. So tonight, I think we're going to go and drop by, visit our good friend Judo Kami. Yeah, long time friend of the stream, long time collaborator. I haven't collabed in a while. It looks like they are playing some Spyro, and it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Alt and Pick are also there. And Pick. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, the, thro the throat's definitely definitely messing me up a little bit. Oop. Accidentally started playing the stream audio a little bit. But we're going to go to that stream anyway, so I guess it's not a, the worst thing in the world. But yes. So, going to go visit our good friend, Judo Kami. They are playing, once again, like I said, some Spyro. Fire of the Dragon, the the remakes, the reignited trilogy. I don't know which of those, which of the Spyro games this is, because I've not played any of those Spyro games. But um, but yeah. So let's see what else is there to say. I guess that should be basically it. Yeah, Judo Kami, another VTuber, business business person, CEO, your boss and mine as well. <laughs> CEO of Judo Corp. Yeah. So yeah, I think that should be everything that needs to be said. So, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And, so, thank you all for being here tonight. 
I hope that you've had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you will be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. There we go. Raid.